Both the original TR808 and 909 had individual outputs for each of the sounds within the devices. Now the TR8 enables you to do the same thing, but does it via USB. So what I've got is Logic set up here, and I'm gonna set up the individual outputs uh, to output them into Logic. So the first thing I need to do is to create individual audio channels. That's one for each of the individual sounds. So in this case, we're looking at 11 in total. And what I need to do is take an input from the TR8, which I have set up, as you can see here. So the first sound, if you click on this, input one and two are the main mix outputs. That's everything out all um, from a stereo channel. And then the individual output starts at input three. So I'm going to highlight input three here and make sure that ascending is also ticked. Once I've done that, I'm going to come over to the output side and make sure that input monitoring is switched in. And with those settings all correct, I can cr uh, hit create and create the 11 individual outputs required. So now if I hit play, you can see each of the individual sounds are output. And if I bring up the mixer, I have individual muting and soloing of the individual sounds. So I've had a day to spend with the TR8 and the TB3, and I've got to say that the spirit of the originals is very, very much in them. The TR08 has both the 909 and the 808 sounds in them, and regardless of the technology behind them, they sound up there with the originals. The hands-on control and the fact that you've got that ability to get in on the step sequence to get ideas running very, very quickly, the fact that you can link them together, they're there for performance, they're there for use in the DAW, the TR8, acting as a sound card as well. If you take them on their own, they're a worthy buy. You put the two of them together, and it's the most fun I've had with a synth and drum machine combination in ages. I'm impressed, I like what I've seen with these, and uh, I'm gonna get a pair. Every two weeks in the course, uh, an assignment is set. So once I've done my assignment, which is essentially a track, I upload it for my tutor to download. And he sends me back a DVR, which is a direct video response. It's a video produced by your tutor um, that is sent to you personally every couple of weeks while you're, you're studying, giving you immediate feedback on your production. It's something that enables the students to have a one-to-one -one connection with their tutor. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. And I think this kind of steel can sound is brilliant. I mean, that's, that's a real kind of hook of the track, this. Maybe let's just try uh, recording something in. The response that the tutor gives is completely tailored to the student's style of music or the level that they're at as well. So it might be nice to spice up this drum track by adding a delay. And you can see I've put one here in the return of the drum rack. And uh, if we just apply that to the clap now, you see it has a really nice effect. If you want to check out the whole range of online courses, go to pointblankonline.net. Thank you.